What's up, I'm Carl J. Richter, and in this video, I'm going to share a really cool tool for building branching simulations. Uh, I've been an e-learning designer for about 20 years. I do most of my work in Storyline. I use Camtasia, I use Rise, I use a whole bunch of different tools, but this is one that really allows you to give learners the choice. Let them choose different actions and learn from their mistakes. So rather than choosing a quiz question and either getting it right or wrong, you're going to actually go through, I'm a big fan of that CCAF model from Dr. Michael Allen, where you're giving learners a choice, they take that action, and then they get the feedback from it. So uh, this is a really great way. I've got an example that I'm going to share with you uh, for something that I built in Branch Track. Uh, but before I get into that, I wanted to show you uh, this short Sims course. Uh, so I signed up for this workshop with Dr. Clark Aldridge. Mwah! I love it. It's a wonderful thing. It's a really uh, playable, sort of fun thing. Uh, I encourage you to go to this website and look around a little bit uh, and you can actually play some of the short sims that are much better than the example I'm going to share with you. But it really is about giving people the opportunity to learn from their mistakes and make choices and see the consequences of those uh, so that rather than, you know, I said that already. Let me jump in and show you a branch track. Uh, I went through uh, and I actually started building one for you here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just sort of show you how the interface works. So I have something that uh, I want to give you a role. You are an instructional designer and you want to build a branching sim. What tool do you choose? So we have different choices, PowerPoint, Storyline, Rise, and Branch Track. So the way it works is uh, you can actually go through and make one of these cards. What do you choose? And then you go through and you add your choice, choice one. And here I can say choice two. And uh, what's really neat is that you just sort of drag these choices off. So now we have, you can wiggle these little cards around here so that it's very easy to go here. Now we make another choice. It's very cool. It's very fast and very easy to work with. Uh, I, I'm. I have tried building these types of branching simulations in PowerPoint and Storyline and Rise, and uh, this is just a wonderful tool. So let, let me show you uh, how this works. You're an instructional designer. Which tool do you choose? So if I say Articulate Storyline, I'm going to say, hey, it's a great tool. However, you'll spend a lot of time developing. There are faster tools out there. Now, I haven't actually built this, but if we click Continue Using Storyline, the way I would wrap it up is say, okay, this project took you 57 hours to build, and you were a week and a half late. Your client's mad, and your boss has you on probation. It is a really cool tool. <laughs> so we're showing different choices. We could go back and have them use a different tool. We can say, I only have PowerPoint. Well, PowerPoint allows you to build simple branches, linking objects to different slides. If we continue using PowerPoint there, maybe the consequence could be you and your spouse get in a big, huge fight because you spent three hours that afternoon <laughs> trying to figure out why your short sim built in PowerPoint doesn't work, and now you have to sleep on the couch. <laughs> would you like to try again? <laughs> so then uh, we would be able to go back. And uh, oh, looks like I, did it. I didn't model that one right. Let me, let me go ahead and uh, set it up here one more time. So we play this scene, we choose storyline, we go back and we choose a different tool, and then we choose a branch track, and we say it's fast, it's powerful, exports to SCORM, you can embed it, you can have it be a standalone course, this is the best choice. We use branch track, then for this one I could have a client that says, oh gosh, I love this, this is exactly, we didn't know this was what we wanted, and you even finished early. Ta-da! So rather than having a course and a quiz that says, you know, which authoring tools allow you to do it, I could create a short sim and uh, have someone sort of experience the pain of choosing these different tools. And uh, it's a wonderful tool. You can probably tell from the smile on my face that I have been bitten by the short sims bug and that I love branch track. And I think it's a very neat tool. Not a perfect tool. None of them are perfect. Uh, there are things that, that I still do struggle with that maybe I'll make another video on but uh, you can get a free account for branchtrack.com you can go through and actually practice building one of these uh, hopefully the little quick demo that I showed you there 
uh, as well as knowing that you can come in and you can kind of choose the different characters that you want to use, like that guy. You can choose the different backgrounds you have. You can import them. I made some PowerPoint slides that have a lot of the graphics for what I want. And then uh, it even has a built-in review tool so that you can go and share it and, and capture feedback from the other members of the team. So wonderful tool, strong recommendation. It's a wonderful thing to add to your toolkit. Have a great day.